Children Philly, Children Philly, what's up, man? USCJ here. It's the top of the morning. It's the top of the morning. Listen, I hope everybody is getting ready. Get up, get out, and make some things happen this morning. Listen, USC, Lincoln Riley, and staff, we are witnessing something that we have never seen in a long time. Look, it's straight go time. It's only popping. It's only cracking. USC surges to number five in the country. Um, and we're going to talk about this class. You guys know I brought you two videos yesterday. Marquise Gallegos. Uh, he just made his commitment yesterday, as well as the big time offensive lineman, uh, Makai, out of the state of Texas. Um, humongous guy. Both of these guys are four star prospect. And look, USC has now flipped, uh, what, three players now from Oregon. Oregon uh, projected to go to Oregon. Um, USC was absolutely, um, looked like they went on the radar for some. And Ryan Palin's father actually, uh, well, his brother actually said that. USC wasn't even in the picture. I think they had an uncle to work at Oregon, and the whole family was Oregon. His brother played at Washington State. But it, it, something is in the air with Lincoln Riley. Something is in the air with the staff. Uh, we got to get credit to Coach Hanson. Got to give credit to Dante Williams. Got to give credit to all those uh, who are participating in this big recruiting. Coach, uh, Coach Hanson's wife. I mean, you're hearing her name quite a bit. I mean, everything that we're hearing right now, it is just unbelievable. And it's moving and grooving in a direction that – USC will continue to surge. We're expecting more commitments. Uh, you guys know I brought it to you Monday talking about David uh, Pele Pele, and uh, we're looking for him this Saturday, and we're expecting more this week. And so, look, man, let's take a look at the recruiting class. Let's kind of compare and contrast and see why USC is surging in this particular class. Let's go. One of the things we can absolutely not dismiss is the phenomenal job, the phenomenal job right now that USC is doing with the offensive line. You see Hayden Trader, uh, Manasseh Itty. You see all these big boys, man. Uh, you see Makai there. And uh, and you see Jason Zandamila. I mean, it is straight up go time. What USC is doing, you got a Florida guy there. You got a Texas guy there. You got a California guy there. You got a Colorado. USC is recruiting like the national brand like we once knew it. And USC and Lee is rallying the staff. I mean, you think about this. Think about the recruiting that we had last year with the offensive line. Michael Benuelas, Amos Talele, uh, Alani Noah. Uh, you think about all of these guys, and USC was able to come back, couple that with these guys in the 2024 class. I mean, you're talking about Big Ten ready with the guys that we got from the 23 class, and you got these guys here. Man, it is straight up go time. It's only popping. It's only cracking. And see, this, this is one of the things that I, that's highlighted to me. Uh, in my mind, as it relates to the class, they continue to get the big boys. And yes, we're going to get the big boys on the other side of the ball. We, You guys can expect some of that to happen this week. You're hearing it from me first. But what USC is doing right now, what the coaching staff is doing right now, is absolutely unbelievable. All these guys are part of USC's class. And uh, I wanted you to take a look at these guys. All right, so this was Marquise Gallegos from last night. And he started it off last night, and uh, gracefully so, uh, him and Makai both had those those times kind of running into one another, and so they were supposed to both supposed to commit at the same time, uh, which was four o'clock, and uh, Makai gracefully ended up pushing his back a couple of hours. That gave a little bit of room for uh, uh, Marquise to go ahead and make his commitment. But um, you guys seen his film? It was him that committed last night. Uh, he had a beautiful beautiful uh commitment video last night and uh you know talked about how he wanted to stay home and, and how he wanted to represent the whole team uh drove up in the coliseum it was it was incredible uh his his footage but look man you guys know i did a video about him and i'm just going to be honest with you man as far as players in his in in this class this guy right here might be my, my, one of my favorites and the reason being he is an absolute ball hawk he is a ball hawk like nobody's business. But anyway, Oregon was on his radar, and he canceled his trip along with Palem. They both canceled their trip. As a result, you guys see him now here. They are USC Trojans. And uh, so, look, man, you guys hit me in the comment section. But this was the guy that started it off last night. Ryan Palem started off Monday night, and then completing it last night was Makai. 
a uh, big offensive lineman out of Texas. And we got more coming. Lincoln Riley put it up. We have more coming. He said job is not finished. Job is not finished. And that commitment from Marquise was actually followed up by another one incredible out of the state of Texas, man. We got a big boy, big body guy, man. Six foot four, 280 pounds. Um, Officer lineman, man, out of the state of Texas. Look, USC is moving and grooving in a direction that's like no other right now. And what can we say about what Lincoln Riley and staff is doing right now? You got to give them the love. You got to show them the love because it's only popping. It's only cracking. And look, as we look at the 2024 class, we'll talk about that as well. Um, it, it is just unbelievable what we see and what we're witnessing from this class. Guys like Dakota Field, Xavier Jordan. You got um, uh, so many guys. You got Cameron Fountain. Um, you, you got guys that are just impact players. This is going to be one of the best classes that USC's had in a long, long time. But, of course, you guys know this was the guy that actually started out. And uh, I did a video on him, Ryan Palum, 5'11", looks more than 5'11". 5'11", they say 175, but he looks bigger than that. But he's just a smooth route runner, man. And when I did the video the other day, it was quite a few people that said he looks like Robert Woods. Some said he looks like Deshaun Jackson. Some said he looks like a combination of Deshaun, Deshaun Jackson um, and Robert Woods. I mean, he, you know, I've heard Marquise Lee, but he's from Long Beach, California. USC was able to get this four-star prospect. And look, we have are flipping guys that are from Oregon that, that were committed. Well, Crystal Ball to Oregon. Ryan Palin was one of those guys. And so right now, man, it is uh, absolutely, positively, straight up go time, man. It's only popping. It's only cracking. Ryan, actually, it was his brother that coaches. He's the head coach at Millican High School. And his brother was the one that actually stated that uh, Ryan didn't even have USC on the radar. There was no plans to go to USC. Um, in fact, they were going to go to Oregon. His his brother, his uncle played it or well, coached at Oregon. Uh, Ryan's brother played at Washington State. USC was just not the, on the radar. And that gives you the perception that gives them. I mean, you, you got to wonder what the real perception was uh, for USC and how, and you know, it gives you a little bit of insight. What is Brandon Baker? What are some of these other guys thinking? But I think what Dakota Fields, what Ryan Palum, all these guys are doing right now, moving and grooving toward uh, having this class to be guys that are homegrown and can stay there, I think is very, very essential, very, very important. And I, as a result, I think we're going to see not only guys from the local area, but I think we're going to see guys from all over the country really, really make a commitment um, to USC. I think we could finish. You guys know, I've already said this. I think we could finish as a top 10 class. Excuse me, as a top three class. We're already at top five right now, but as a top three class. So I did mention that USC was currently ranked uh, number five. This is where they were at right here. Um, number six, just sitting at number six, about to bust through number five. And if you look at the players, um, 10, this is before the actual other commitments, but you see the four 10 stars. This is according to one, three, four 10 stars, three, three stars. And then the, uh, which was a total of 13 commits. We got a total of, uh, 15 now, but, uh, they gave us a 91.56. Um, when you're talking about the caliber of players that we have right now. So now we moved up to the number five spot. I think it's very possible that USC could easily move to the number three spot. Now, before I get out of here, I just want to give a big shout out. It, what a phenomenal job that Coach Hanson is doing for the second year in a row. You, I told you guys, I, I called out those big names, the big uglies. Some of the guys we got, Michael Benuelas, Amos Talele, Eleni Noah, uh, and you see him there with Hayden Trader, uh, six foot six guy. Look, man, USC and Lincoln Riley and what they're doing with uh, Coach Hanson is a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal job. And I got to give it up to him. I got to give big props to him. The next one, the last one, I'm going to give it up to Dante Williams, man. Can we just say that Dante is doing what he has to do as it relates to being a recruiter? Uh, we can't take it away from him, man. He is going out there. He's working. He's knocking it out. He's putting the work in. And look, it's straight up go time with Dante right now. The recruiting is on another level right now. Uh, you know, Oregon, they you know, some other schools, they thought they had us. But look, USC is coming out of nowhere right now. 
on it popping, on it cracking. I've never seen it like this. I mean, it is so incredible. It's so exciting. I can't even put my phone down literally all day long because I know that something is about to happen. Something is about to pop off and I don't want to be lost in the sauce. And one of the reasons being is Dante Williams is in the middle. He's in the center of that. And so look, man, you guys hit me in the comment section. This is all I got for you. USC recruiting continues to serve.